Hey guys, Decav13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fire Emblem Three Houses Cindered Shadows. So, in the last episode, uh, we made our escape from the golem that was chasing us because we had uh, taken the Holy Chalice, uh, and it appears that Aelfric has been taken by the uh, mercenaries who were hunting it as a uh, hostage, I guess, for us to get back. So, we are now going to uh, go to the, what was it, uh, the chapel, and that should be where we'll find him. So first, let's do a little exploration. The identities of the Cardinals are a closely guarded secret of the church, yet Alfric's status was disclosed in that letter. Could this signal a power struggle within the church? Perhaps. Or perhaps that's what they want us to believe. Either way, we should pay close attention. We were hoping that Chalice would protect this, but it's the reason Elfric got captured. That's ironic. The people here really adore him. I'm sure they'd appreciate our help getting him back. Then again, are we getting too involved? Maybe we should leave before we make things any worse. We are getting very involved with the people here. So it turns out all Elfric is a cardinal, huh? Hard to imagine such an important figure getting abducted. And whoever took him somehow knows we have the chalice. I bet they know how to use the thing, too. I doubt they just plan to decorate their mantle with it. According to the legend that Elfric shared with us, the chalice has the power to bring back the dead. Are his captors hoping to resurrect someone? Or perhaps they simply intend to sell it for an exorbitant payoff. Yeah, who knows what their motives are. Interesting. I was speaking with Happy earlier, and it dawned on me that she may possess a unique crest. Perhaps it's linked to the Four Apostles. If so, then in the chasm... No, there isn't enough to back that up. Hmm? Oh, sorry, Professor. I need to think on this longer before sharing my theories. Elfric is a prominent figure in the church. If the Archbishop hears what happened, she might send the Knights of Seros. That'd make things complicated. Folks down here don't trust her. Well, I mean, for good reason. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, you. Listen up. I've got something to report. Oh. It's me. I... I'm a failure. A farce. An insult to the noble title of Abyss Keeper. Oh, don't, don't, don't do that to yourself, Abyss Keeper. Master Elfric's done so much for me. I wanted to pay him back one day, but instead, I let this happen. I'll never make this up to him. I'm disgusted with myself. Don't look at me, I'm a monster. Oh, poor Abyss Keeper. Beating himself up over it. It all happened so fast. They forced their way in and took Elfric. There was nothing I could do. We all wanted to fight, but Elfric stopped us. He always thinks of others first, even if it means sacrificing himself. What do you require? I didn't realize Dimitri's battalion had gotten so damaged. Uh, I might as well replenish it. Farewell. I mean, hell, why not, right? I should probably start repairing some weapons too. Cause I mean, I'm just getting a bunch of uh, forging stones that are going to the garbage now. Maybe I'll do some hey forges too. Actually. Yeah, give me an iron sword there blast. You go. 
Let's keep that the way it is for now. Is this it? There you go. View steel sword plus. You can have this iron gauntlets plus. There you go. I'm gonna give people at least like one plus weapon. I don't have any po venom stones, and actually I can't even do that. Let's make a steel axe plus is for this it? There you go. Use the extra might. Dimitri, I mean Dimitri doesn't really need might, but you know, it helps. Is this it? There you go. Ooh. Is this it? Yeah, Jack. There awesome. you go. Is this it? Plus, there you go. Bow plus. Is Ash, this it? Iron there you go. As well. Hilda. Is this it? Plus. There you go. I think everyone else should be fine. Come back anytime. Welcome. I, I fucking hate these. Joy Cons. I, I need to get new ones really badly. But they're so fucking expensive. Thank you. Please come again. Hey there. It's gotten pretty dangerous around here, so we've sent all the children back to their homes. I hope Elfric's all right. The Ashen Wolves are strong. I don't think even they can do this on their own. You'll lend them a hand, won't you, Professor? Please, save Elfric. Of course. We're gonna do what we can. Who's over here? Oh. Focus. Ask me, we can't expect to just mosey on by, hand over the chalice, and make it out alive. Nothing sounds better than saving Elfric and roughing up the jerks who took him. It's just... Well, as the relentless king of grappling, I'll be fine. But I'm worried about the others. Hey, uh, really? Elfric's been taken hostage. Who could do such a dishonorable thing? It doesn't matter. Abyss needs him. We've got to form a rescue party. I just hope we're not getting in over our heads. We don't exactly know what we're dealing with. That's true. We don't know who we're going up against. Rusted axe, rusted gauntlets. I think that's it for here, isn't it? Things were dicey for a bit there. Gotta say, I'm relieved that no harm befell anyone in Abyss. I've made sure that the elderly and children are hidden in their homes. They need to stay safe. What can I do to help? Nothing right now. But I might call on you for a favor later. So that's the deal. People are safe for now. But I can't shake the feeling that something's just off. All we can do at this point is focus on the problem staring us in the face. So that's the all we can do. It. We've got to get Alfie back. I was abducted once when I was younger. My captor used me as a test subject in her twisted experiments. Maybe we can just give them the chalice and they'll release him unharmed. You know, after seeing who she, who she supports with and knowing that her past, like where she ended up taking refuge, I think I know who her captor was is. Because I remember, if we go to Happy's uh, personal history, she found refuge in a church in Fargus. So she was probably captured in Fargus. Meaning, uh, a woman conducted twisted experiments on her. We know of a woman like that who was in who's in Fargus and is a mage capable of doing those experiments. Ooh. Might I have a word? It concerns the black guards who abducted Elfric. Yeah, what's going on, best girl? I alluded to it before, but I sincerely believe there is a spy in Abyss. I think you're right. We are in agreement then? I mean, no other. There, I, I don't think there's any other way this could have happened unless there was a spy. Because, like, like she said last time, no one even knew we were going after the chalice. Elfric didn't even know that. 
Yuri well, I mean, is exceedingly devoted to his friends. Kind of. But there are times that he can be a bit too trusting. I right, just got two people left to talk to, and then we can move on with the chapter. Hey, uh. The leader of the group that took Elfric. I've seen him before. He wouldn't hesitate to slaughter an entire town if he stood to gain even a little by it. His laugh chills me to the bone. Hmm. I wonder who it is that took Elfric. I mean, we're gonna have to find. Hmm. No. We're gonna have to find out. I have seen nothing. I have been here in this place where I always am. You cannot think it was me who did something. I am full of innocence. All right, let's move on. We really lucked out there. Fewer injuries than I would have expected, and most were minor. I suppose the only conclusion we can draw is that they really were after Elfric all this time. Perhaps they were instructed to avoid unnecessary casualties. Perhaps they were. Is that Elfric guy really a cardinal? There, there's just something about the way Edelgard worded that. I thought that was a myth. Hmm. Hard to believe. Did you folks in the Ashen Wolves know that? No, that's news to me. The identity of the cardinals is top secret, even within the church. Yeah, the most we knew is that Elfric told us that he was just some ordinary priest. He never would have told us something like that. Oh, except maybe Yuri. He and I talk about a lot of things. But right now, I'd say we have more important topics to discuss than his title. Alfred's been kidnapped. What are we going to do about it? Even if it is in the name of rescuing him, we simply cannot hand over the chalice to those scoundrels. Let's just give them the thing and be done with it. <laughs> Man, two, two very conflicting viewpoints within uh, seconds of each other. Professor! Oh, hey, Eloise. As fast as I could when I heard the report. I had no idea you'd be here. Is this loud, uh, <laughs> excitable knight a friend of yours? Indeed he is. He's a trusted friend. <laughs> you humble me, Professor. I'm Eloise. I serve the church as a knight of Seros. Now, about Elfric's kidnapping. Since he's an important member of the church, we must use any means necessary to find him. That said, most of the holy knights have been deployed to deal with the western church. Yeah, so really not many people here. Sure, but any knights are better than no knights, yeah? That's true. I like your attitude, <laughs> though I'm still embarrassed that we're not in full force. But hey, at least we're quite forceful. <sighs> here. <laughs> Take this letter. We believe it was left by whoever kidnapped the cardinal. In it, the enemy clearly spells out their plan. They're after a chalice that was hidden beneath abyss. A chalice? Hmm. A chalice? Hmm. Ah, do you mean the chalice? But no, why would it be there? I've never heard anything about it being stowed away in abyss. Then this is gonna come as a shock, pal. Yeah. <laughs> What in the goddess's name? Is that really the chalice from the legends? I mean, from what I can see, it's very small, but it looks like it does have the like a crest stone of Saros in it. The probability of that is unassailably high. Yes. It was guarded by a bunch of giant creepy toys. There was powerful magic protecting it and everything. I saw it with my own eyes. If you say so. Wow. That means the story about the chalice being bound was true. Well, what's done is done. Oh, but I guess it's not done just yet. I must report this to Lady Rhea at once. All right. Cindered shadows. Cool. Betrayal. Man, it's always a good sign when a chapter is called Betrayal.
Oh, boy. So that is what transpired. Hey, Rhea. This is indeed the Chalice of Beginnings. It matches the descriptions and the few records of it that remain. Don't beat around the bush. What's our punishment? You removed a most sacred treasure. Truly, it is my obligation to mete out punishment for that transgression. However, you also helped the church locate a valuable artifact. In light of this good deed, I shall forgive the bad one. I do wonder... What's on your mind? I am wondering whether your presence had anything to do with the artifacts unbinding, Professor. As per the Church Chronicles, the Four Apostles secured the Chalice with powerful magic. The only way to release the Chalice is by using the Four Crests passed down through their bloodlines. However, given the special power you possess, Perhaps you were able to unlock it yourself. Had nothing to do with me. It was these four. There is no knowing at present. For the time being, I will keep the chalice somewhere safe. As for Elfric, I assure you that the knights will find and return him in due time. I consider him to be one of my many children, after all. I will not allow harm to befall him. Lady Rhea. Might I ask a moment of your time? We cannot be expected to give up our endeavor. The enemy stated most clearly that if the knights are involved, our dear Elfric is finished. We owe him so much. If there is any possibility that his life is in danger, the risk is too great to chance. True. The knights are strong and all, but they're liable to get him killed. We can take care of it, with Chatterbox's help. She calling me Chatterbox. A professor has the strength of a hundred knights. Or about one and a half of me. We've got this. How about it, Rhea? A hundred knights or one and a half balls. <laughs> That's quite the unique uh, measurement system of strength you got there, man. We've been through too damned much to get here. Leave the chalice and Elfric to us. You won't regret it. Lady Rhea, please. Hmm. I'll take full responsibility. If you join your power with theirs, yes, perhaps there is hope. As you wish, I shall entrust you with the chalice. Your Grace, the chalice is a legendary treasure. You can't just hand it over to those underground- Hey now. That is quite enough. There is no cause to worry, I assure you. There will be no further discussion on the matter. Even if we lost hold of the chalice, it would be impossible for the thieves to make use of it. Though it was created to return a life that was lost, I doubt that anyone alive knows how to accomplish that feat. If someone were to successfully replicate the ritual, it would perhaps be the work of fate. Hmm. Hey boss, been meaning to ask, how'd you end up down here in Abyss? What is this? Some sort of interrogation? It's a question we want to know the answer to. Yeah, you've never been big on sharing. I mean, you know all about me, and there's still so much I don't know about you. Look, I get it. Talking about the past isn't easy. But I'm curious, yeah? So get to it. I've got all day. <laughs> Do you now? <laughs> well... I guess now's as good a time as any to tell you. I'm here because I killed some people from the church. Oh. That cannot be! You have a grudge against the church? Of course I don't. What kind of person do you think I am? Someone who'd willingly kill others? Originally, I attended the academy as Count Rose adopted kid. There came a point when the church ordered me to wipe out some members from my old gang told me it was part of some important mission. Hmm. Who is this old gang you speak of? They were nothing more than common thieves to someone like you, Constance. Anyway, they're like family to me. So naturally, I protested my orders. Things got pretty heated, and, well, the rest is history. That's some story, pal. You're damn lucky they didn't execute you. Seriously? <laughs> You're telling me. 
Elfric stepped in and import them to spare my life. Told them huh. to consider the circumstances. It's not so different for the rest of you. I'm sure he helped all of us out in different ways. He did. I was about to be thrown in the monastery's underground jail. People thought I was dangerous, what with my gift and all. It's dark and dingy here, but it sure beats a prison cell. Elfie really saved my neck. Back to the point. Balthus, what was it you were so curious about? You had ideas regarding why our enemies may be clawing after the chalice, perhaps? No, nothing like that. But I am hung up on something Rhea said. That binding on the chalice was linked to the four apostles, yeah? I know I've got Chevalier's... Sorry, but mind if I cut in? Oh, is this where Lynn educates us about what their crests are? What is it? Can't you see we're busy? I can, but I just remembered something. Something important. Specifically, the names of the apostles. Oban, Chevalier, Noah, and Timotheus. The four apostles whose bloodlines were lost to time. I figured the Ashen Wolves might have thoughts about all that. Uh, <laughs> I think they do. No use hiding it now, Constance. Let's lay all of our cards on the table. As for me, I've got the major crest of Chevalier. When I enrolled at the Academy, the church ordered me to keep that tidbit to myself. So I did. Hmm. Mm hmm. And I've got the major crest of Oban. Never did sort out how it is I have this thing. As for me, the blood of Saint Noah courses through my veins. This is kept hidden, even from the Empire. Which probably means mine's from Timotheus. I do have a vague recollection of being told my crest is rare. So the four crests, which were presumed lost, have all been gathered into the same house. Hey, what, what a fucking coincidence that is. All thanks to our buddy Elfric, it would seem. And now Elfric has been abducted. Why could that be? If it was the chalice they were after, they could have stolen it from us without the need for anything sly. Maybe someone had it out for him. Or maybe he messed around with the wrong people. Or it could just be unrelated entirely. We're trying to untangle this mess by tying more knots into it. I mean, Balthus, you landed here on accident, didn't you? It's not like that's linked to the rest of us. And I could just as easily have never ended up down here, you know? You're jumping at shadows. Anyway, we don't have time for this. Let's get our act together and head to the chapel ruins. So let's see what's waiting for us over there. <sighs> but yeah, b betrayal. <laughs> I, I assume that's going to happen in this chapter. <laughs> Oh, that's that's something to really look forward to, huh? Professor. Oh, another exploration. Nice. Well, I guess I'll uh, guess I'll make this one kind of a long one. We go to all that trouble bringing Lady Rhea a priceless artifact, and not so much as a thank you. We had to release the binding and everything. Well, I mean, it could have released on its own, but. Still, let's wrap this up and head home, so I can get some quality sauna time. Hilda needs a steaming. <laughs> All right, Hilda. The four apostles. Finally, it makes sense. What do you mean? I never understood why my village was hidden away from the rest of the world, but now I finally get it. What a relief. Ah. My head's gonna explode if I keep thinking about all this complicated junk. For now, we just need to focus on rescuing Elfric and sniffing out some answers. I know it's been one crisis after another, but you're still game to help us, yeah? We need you, pal. Is Elfric an enemy or an ally? He's worked tirelessly to protect Abyss for years and years. Yet, had House Nouvelle not met such a terrible fate, I would never have come to Garrick Mock. And Noah's bloodline would never... Can his kidnapping really be a simple coincidence? Or... Hmm. That's definitely interesting to think about. Could Elfric be behind all four of these guys showing up here? Like, behind their circumstances for it anyway? Because we know he intervened with Happy and, uh... I, I am just so... 
I'm so inclined to keep calling Yuri Leon, but no, he's not. John, come on, come on, man. Um. <laughs> but yeah, could he possibly be behind the reasons for uh, Constance and Balthus being brought here too? Like, could he possibly be behind the ruining of House Nouvelle and behind Balthus's many, many, many debts? I mean, hey, I guess we'll have to find him and check. I suppose it's all out in the open. Now you know just what I'm capable of. The church would have destroyed me ages ago if it wasn't for a certain someone having my back. My life was spared. It's a debt I intend to pay, no matter the cost. Professor? Huh! I can't believe my wild hypothesis <laughs> was correct! I may not look it, but I'm shocked. Oh, you definitely look shocked in your portrait, man. Oh, man, you were just throwing out a fucking wild guess. It's like casting a line and thinking you've landed the big one, but then you reel it in and it set it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What do you mean you reel it in and it's set it? Why is that it's hiding in the fishing hole? Okay, that was a weird analogy. <laughs> the point is, I'm very, very shocked. Yeah, I was just like, what the fuck was that analogy, Lynn? All right, dude. <laughs> Man, Linhart's great. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna think so, about that. To be honest, I'm surprised Lady Rhea was so willing to just hand over the chalice like that. Yeah, it is kind of weird. Doesn't the church consider it important? I know she said they wouldn't be able to use it, but something doesn't feel right. For, for those of you wondering, no, that's not me moving the camera. Both of my Joy-Cons are defective. Rusted bow. I mean, I see no reason to use this rusted stuff. For right now, anyway. Alright, let's see what everyone else is thinking. Hey there. Yuri somehow always keeps his cool. He's closer with Alfred than anyone. So he's got the most reason to be upset. I'm sure he's just really good at hiding the same feelings we're all having. Hey! It was surface people who took Elfric away. But you're from the surface too. Maybe only some surface people are the worst. Anyway, good luck! Yeah, some surface people are pretty scum, kid. The Ashen Wolves can take on anything. They'll make sure it all turns out okay, won't they? Hey, Dimitri. So it is. Lost crests? Elfric's objective? Since our journey's outset, the mystery has only deepened. Yeah, seriously. Ah, please, forgive me. Using aloud isn't going to get us anywhere. For now, let's finish our preparations. Fear a battle is imminent. Huh? Those lost crests. They must all have their own relics, don't you think? Uh, but before we dig into a new mystery, we better figure out the ones we're already working on. You know, that's actually something interesting to think about. Because we know about uh, Yuri and Balthus's relics. Do Constance and Happy have relics too? I have a theory, but hmm. I actually scratched that. No use guessing when our answers await at the chapel ruins. <laughs> when, when I move the camera over, it has to reload in his <laughs> clothes physics. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The descendants of the four apostles. Fascinating. Oh, not from this distance, though. To think that their bloodlines carried on in secret. Right under our noses. One was even disguised as imperial nobility. House Nouvelle was thought to be descended from St. Macuel, but that was a fabrication. How did they manage to avoid detection for so many generations? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, especially since the Empire has that, what, Crest Academy that Hanuman was a part of. Like, y you would think that those people would have noticed something was off about their crest, but... Huh. <sighs> there is danger here, because we could be attacked. The same danger is there for me on the surface. 
The only way to leave the danger is to disappear. Listen up. I've got something to report. Guess that's pretty usual here. Maybe it's not worth reporting. Perhaps I should say nothing to report. <laughs> What's going on with this keeper? Eh, tried it on. Doesn't feel right. <laughs> In any case, about Master Alfred. Bring him back to us, okay? For my part, I'll look after things down here. If our enemy shows up, I'll stay by my post. I mean, I have to eat and stuff, but I'll come right back. Count on it. Thanks, Abyss Keeper. <laughs> I appreciate that. <sighs> Please. Please. Maybe you think this is a bad time to talk about what we drink down here. But I'm gonna anyway. See, the problem isn't in the local ingredients. It's what's getting shipped in that's the issue. With the right equipment, we could probably make our own. Cut out the need to import anything. Hell, maybe we could even export some of it. As soon as Elfric's back... I'm gonna see what he thinks of the idea. So, uh, make sure Alfred comes back safe, all right? If the church knows that Elfric's been abducted, why haven't the Knights of Saros done anything? I know you're all doing your best. I just hope it'll be enough. We can't afford to lose him. Oh my, Elfric dies? This will go right back to being the garbage dump it was before. Won't matter too much for an old codger like myself. But with the kids, it'd be hard to see their hopes for the future crushed. Alright, let's head out to the chapel. Hey, friend. Oh, hey, Yuri, what's up? Let's not deny that there's a connection between us. How about you and me have ourselves a little date, huh? You coming on to me? You're smiling with your mouth, but not your eyes. <laughs> it only happens when I'm being a little greedy. When the bell strikes midnight, meet me out front at the Holy Mausoleum. My only condition is that you arrive promptly after midnight, and not a moment before. What say you? Why at such a late hour? It's the most romantic time of the evening, of course. Or is the idea of a date with me not appealing to you? <laughs> Nobles have nearly killed one another fighting for my affections, you know. Perhaps you won't get all you want out of me. <laughs> but I'll promise you a fun time regardless. It's settled. I'll see you tomorrow night, friend. Don't stand me up. Hmm. All right, then. I guess I'm going on a Your date Grace, with Yuri. Please reconsider. The chalice is among the church's greatest treasures, akin to even the hero's relics. I am well aware, which is why I have already dealt with the matter. Consider this. The hero's relics are fearsome weapons imbued with great power. On the contrary, the chalice has long lost the power it once possessed. It is little more than a token of history. If that is so, then why is it still considered such an important artifact? It's a good question. It was created for a sacred purpose. To use the blood of the four apostles to... return the goddess to our world. Their blood. Your grace, is something the matter? I have an urgent mission for you. Investigate the origins of the Ashen Wolves. Start with their enrollment forms for the Academy. Keep an eye out for falsified documents. Oh. I think I see what happened. Their crests were probably discovered upon their enrollment. But... Someone... Forged documents to make it look like they didn't have those crests. To keep it a secret to everyone in the church, even from Raya. What the hell are you doing, Elfric? Yes, of course. Understood. Before you begin, summon Alois at once. I have new orders for the knights as well. As you wish, Your Grace. If I am correct, we haven't a moment to lose. Another tragedy is soon to transpire. A 
crumbly old chapel somewhere nearby or what? I can play a little part here. Oh. Save perhaps as a bargaining chip for our dear Elfric. Almost forgot Constance is back out in the sun. Getting yourself captured instead? That wouldn't be good at all, Constance. I think we should be more worried about B's appearance. I mean, he's got <laughs> way, way more uh, life experience than the rest of us. That's certainly one way to put it. And all that life experience makes you look more like a knight than a student, B. You saying I'm old, pal? Don't forget, you're speaking to the ageless king of grab- I love how the first word of that title keeps changing every fucking time. <laughs> She's not wrong, Balti. There's a pretty big age gap between you two. Yeah, isn't Balthus like 27? You're friends with Helda's older brother, right? <laughs> that explains your maturity. You make Hubert look like a spring chicken. Yeah, you do make Hubert look pretty young. Can it, will ya? Anyway, I'm wearing a school uniform. No way in hell they'll think I'm a knight. I mean, if you could call that a school uniform, sure. Yeah, and anyone wearing a school uniform is without a doubt a student. <laughs> to be honest, for a good while, I actually did think you might be a knight. Look at how Ash has to look up at him. He's so tall. Who made your uniforms and set up the Ash and Wolf house, anyhow? If I might so humbly interject, that would be Alfred. Yep. He pulled everything together for us. Sometime after he was appointed as the guardian of Abyss. Said he wanted to give former students who were expelled from the academy somewhere to live. Somewhere to belong. Of course, all of this was established long before any of us were in the picture. So getting you four together was a coincidence. Perhaps. After hearing all of that, it's not as unbelievable as I thought. All I know is that he helped me, so I'll help him. I strongly doubt that I shall factor into Elfric's retrieval, but I shall follow your lead. There it is. We owe Elfric. Maybe your goddess doesn't care about debts, but my fists and I sure do. Sorry to have roped you into all this, friend. If it's for my students. What a pal! The Ashen Wolves really landed an A-plus professor. Not just on paper, but in practice, too. This is great! Has me ready to get to it and start hitting things. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yuri? What's up? Ever since I was a kid, I've lived my life by one rule. That I'd only play my hand if I was guaranteed victory. I've gotten this far by using my cunning in any way necessary. Lying, cheating, even killing when there was no other way. But this next play? Well, the odds don't exactly seem to be in my favor. Not unless you trust me enough to provide me with an ace. <laughs> Never you mind, friend. Let's just go. All right then. Whatever Yuri's going on about, I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later. Alright, here we go. Besieged in the Chapel Ruins. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> At last you've arrived. You certainly took your sweet time. Look, we get to see this guy more for more than for more than ten seconds before he's brutally slaughtered. Okay, but uh, hey, Edelgard, mind explaining what the Imperial Army is doing here? The fuck? Why have you come? Save you, of course. You didn't really think we just up and abandon you, did you? If I may be so bold, we have the chalice you seek. Might I humbly request that you return, Elfric? You found the chalice? When I told you of it, I never imagined you'd... Let's make sure it's not some cheap imitation. Hand it over. Not until you hand over the hostage. There needs to be some degree of a trusting exchange here. I can see you don't understand your own predicament. We've no issue killing the lot of you and taking it either way. You know, we have no problem killing you either. I can't tell if this guy's ears are stuffed with wool or if he's just this stupid. <laughs> I mean, he is kind of stupid. Can't say I'm surprised. 
Thugs like this aren't about to show us any gesture of sincerity. Yuri, stand down. Leave me. Take the chalice and flee. You must. It is irreplaceable. You must not hand it to these brigands. <laughs> you know us better than that. We didn't come here without a plan. Oh, she gonna sigh. Happy. Wait, do what thing? Seriously? Right now? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Even the toady's like, what the fuck's going on? No, happy! Fine, fine, fine. <sighs> Her sigh. She Welp. <laughs> I've gotta say. That sigh of hers never gets old. Yeah, yeah, glad you like the show. It's not like it's a gift I asked for. Uh, where did that thing come from? <laughs> <laughs> Absolute cowards. How entertaining. Balthus, will you do the honors? Leave it to me, boss. I got damn! <laughs> You're right there, Balthus? Hey, Balthus, quit screwing around. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, that's not good. I'll sort it out. <laughs> what? At we got Alfred. <laughs> what do you mean you sort it out? to handle these fools. You just got carried away by a giant fucking bird. It's like that'll be fine. Cheap party tricks. Let's make these children scream. Yeah, definitely gonna have to have Edelgard fight against Matodi and see what happens there. That's uh, hmm. <sighs> Guard, why are he? Why is he here? Why was the Death Knight here? R really, really makes me wonder <laughs> about how much everyone knows what's going on here, or at least a certain someone, anyway. All right, so we don't have Baldus for this one because <laughs> he was kidnapped by a bird. Uh, we're gonna have to protect Elfric. He has Bolganone. Oh, he even has weapons on him. Well, he has a lot of stuff on him. Fire heal, recover Nosferatu. Yeah, he's an allied unit, so... Route the enemy, John Elfric or one of the Ashen Wolves falls in battle. Third arm is just that beast. So they're probably gonna be fighting the beast, too. Thieves, they're called. These guys seem like they're a bit more. Oh, there's Balthus! <laughs> well, I guess Balthus is gonna do his own thing for a little bit. <laughs> That's fucking rich. <sighs> Alright, yeah, we got Matoti. What does he have? Axe Breaker Plus, Alert Stance Plus, and Pass. And he has Heart Seeker for his personal. Oh, he doesn't move. That's nice. He has a large bullion. What? It's Wrath the Enemy? Yeah, it's Wrath the Enemy. Alright. So, I'm gonna have Edelgard make her way up over here. Because I really want her to fight, uh, Matodi. I, I want to see what happens with this shit. Oh, so where's Dimitri? There's Dimitri. I got some heroes here, too. Have we ever seen enemy heroes before? For some reason, I don't remember seeing enemy heroes. Thief leader. So we have two commanders here. The thief leader, and then Matodi. Huh, that's interesting. We'll have to see what happens with this guy. I put held out in front over here. Cause I definitely want to take out those guys first. All right, so let's save and let's go. Your reckless actions could have been the death of you. Still, I thank you for saving me. Don't go thanking me yet. We've still got to get out of here. Hmm. There's no time for foolish blunders when our future is at stake. We must complete the mission the noble gave us. We shall vanquish these infidels post haste. The noble. 
didn't mind brawling a giant bird, <laughs> now I'm stuck here. Oh well, time to show what happens when the awe-inspiring king of grappling goes all out. All right, Balthus, we're gonna have to come over there and save your ass. Uh, that's the only thing. If I put Linhart or uh, Happy in range of yep. these, not to fight those knights, they're gonna be in range of this uh, paladin. So that's yeah, it's. And it's exa well, not exactly the range. She could actually kill one of them. Stay focused. Who me? I can kill one of them with a hand axe. Thank you, Hilda. Love you. You lost to me. Yeah, the leader. Okay, the commanders don't move, which is very good. All right, I think the best, our best bet is taking out Ready those uh, heroes first. Ooh, if we can take out the heroes. I will prevail. Yeah, they're doing nothing to Edelgard. She, she can tank that. And hopefully she doesn't get hit by that. I'll, I'll let Edelgard and Dimitri go off that way. Um... I'm not gonna go there, that's just stupid. I'll go there. I'll let everyone sure close thing. in on me first. Yuri can go here. Uh, Constance. What the fuck do I wanna do with Constance? Uh, can I have her use bolting on... Uh, I could have her use bolting on the boss, it's not gonna kill. Uh, unless she crits, but I don't wanna chance it, so... I'll just wait until next turn, have her attack. Then I think let's have everyone else wait here. I'll give it my all. We'll just see what happens. Oh, right, and then Balthus. <laughs> Alright, Balthus. Uh, I mean, this guy doesn't move, but... Let me at him. Hmm. I mean, none of them are targeting Balthus, so that's good. You have Braxton. <laughs> Why are you physic, you asshole? Well, if I get close, the bird can't move and attack me from a distance. Good job, man. I had darting blow now. That's fine. Oh! Oh, he's a guest character! Oh, I, I didn't even realize I could control him! Shit, okay. I'm deeply sorry that you got involved in this mess too. Please, just for now, lend me your aid. Let us all return home alive and well. Shit, I didn't realize, uh... <laughs> I didn't even realize we had him as a party member. It's like that one paralogue where you had, uh, Sedith and, with Sedith and Flame. Where Sedith was a temporary character. Shit, alright. As expected. It's a shame Edelgard isn't going to hit these assassins at all. Okay, one of them went after Dimitri, but he just crit with a seven. You never had a chance. Man, you're great, Dimitri. It is decided. Forty. Oh, right, because Gambit boost hit rate got boosted, and she got hit by it. I mean, she didn't take any damage, which is good, but you know. All right, bird is dying. Yeah, uppercut that bird, Balthus. Stronger the better. All right, Balthus took care of the bird. 
That's just a matter of, uh... Alright, yeah, Steel Lance Plus. I must stay focused. Um, he still has one more disturbance left, right? Yeah, he does. I'm still like a one percent chance to crit, so it's not even worth it. Uh, I'll just ever get a normal attack. Hey, Lord, what are you doing to me? This sort of plus of... I was about to say Leon again. You're not Leon, he's Yuri. Out of my way. Luck is on my side. That's a pretty good level. Oh, here we go. No one's in range for Alfred to fight. I'll just wait on that. Uh, let's move you into a range where that hero isn't gonna target you. Uh, I'm all sweaty. Don't expect much more than that. Alright, Constance. Why not this guy with Sagite? That'll kill. That can't be right. Ooh. Now, this is a Beautiful level up. Uh, there's still so many of them. Happy? You know what to do. Again? What do you take me for, a Psy servant? <sighs> Alright, depending on what this does, I made Divine <sighs> Pulse to reset what I did. Ooh, actually, maybe not. Uh, more monsters. Ooh. Why are monsters like that in Garrick Mark? Uh, well, perhaps I can take the treasure they found as a parting gift. Oh, is he gonna try to escape now? On that heal tile, cons. Uh, that doesn't do anything for you though. What's he? Ha oh, he just has a large bullion. I suppose there is a chest over here, too. If we can get Ash down over there. Alright, so... Okay, good. The wolves are gonna target them. Which means I can have Balthus regroup with us. Couldn't weather the storm, huh? And now we can even go after the uh, heroes as well. That makes it a little bit easier for us. Come on, you want crit clawed? No. Oh well. Yeah, go ahead take out one of them. Oh, I used Banshee. Damn it, I meant to be, I meant to be on Miasma. I'm just gonna go after Dimitri. I mean, that's fine. Ash. I'm starting to see results. I'll go after Ash. Uh, actually, that's better. No one needs healings. All right, you'll have physic. Bring Alfred down this way. <laughs> oh, he actually did a gambit. Well, how was that? 
Not bad, Edelgard. I say they're gonna be all preoccupied attacking the uh, monsters. Got the Ash, which is a pretty unfortunate mistake. That. Oh, he was still, uh. Oh, well. At, at least the physicking priest is dead. That's fine. Alright, Balthus. Yeah, use the Tasha Mushti. It's good to be king. Pulmonary. Now we can get rid of this guy. Yeah, yeah I'll let Happy take the kill. That's what you get. Yeah, that wasn't too great. Yeah, person range of the mages. That's actually not too bad. I think all the enemies are gonna be focused on just the monsters, so, so let's keep it that way. Yuri, uh, well, you're not gonna get hit by him, so it's fine. Yeah, you're definitely not getting hit by him. Especially if your crest just pops twice. Didn't need to pop twice, but alright. Actually, uh, oh, I can help. Then I'll have Ash take out the, uh, the bird. Nice. Another step forward. Yeah, Ash destroys this bird. That was tough. Oh, right, mages. Oh, forgot about that part. Uh, oh, getting eagle guards through here is going to be easy. Who's next? Thirty-one for Dimitri. I must keep Stress is 15. I can lure them over here a little bit. He's doing 24. Uh, I have Linhart nearby in case I need healing. Yeah, I'll save the uh, thing. Alright, just got the one Armor Knight left over here. I didn't realize there was a ballista over here. Wow, he crit with a 4%. Uh-oh. Uh, that paladin might be going after Alfred. Oh no, never mind. They're still just gonna aggro the other demonic beast. Good. I was gonna say, if that, if that paladin went after Elfric, he'd die. It's a good thing they're just targeting the beast. Alright, that that makes... They're all bunched together now, which makes this a bit easier. Now they're gonna come after us. Edelgard can one shot. Witness my power. Right, so long as I'm getting rid of the uh, mages, Dim Dimitri has enough defense to where I don't doubt he can survive. Yeah, 25. He he could survive hits from those guys. Let's just make absolute sure he can. Oh. You 
never had a chance. Oh, actually, never mind. I don't even need to make sure. Just have him do that. Let's see. That archer is going to be a problem. So, let's see. <laughs> yeah, why am I even checking your defense, Happy? I guess I'll move over here. If I use bolting, that would almost kill him. Well, damn. Got Leon over here hiding in the bushes. Damn it, I said Leon that time. Oh boy. Alright, only downside is that now everyone's coming at us. Which makes us a little bit more complicated. There you go, Yuri. <laughs> Who's next? Let's think carefully. Alright, this better not land. I, I'm gonna be really upset. Thank you, Edelgard. Oh, great, another mage. Just what I wanted to say. Move Dimitri back a bit. Oh, no, that's not going to help. Uh, oh, boy. All right. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I got a lot of mages out here. Oh, boy. Uh, this is kind of bad, ain't it? You didn't give it your all. Right, the assassin has passed. Is there archer? There is one archer. Oh, their hit rates are super low. A lot of them are using gambits, so... It's fine. We'll survive. me well. Attaboy, Ash. I don't even need to use a combat art now. Failure is not an option. Alright, so this turn I'll just, uh... Physic card. Uh, oh, damn it, I moved him. No, you don't have rally magic, so it wouldn't have mattered. Um, I guess let's see what happens. Let's go. 
Actually, I can just hit red. Aha, but it missed. Oh, cool, but I get hit with the 47. I'd like to leave at least one of these guys alive so Ash could get that chest. Oh, I must steal myself. Oops, didn't mean to make that sound. Uh, let's see. Even Heart would very much die if I did that. I mean, too reckless. Probably should have gone after the other one, but yeah, you know. All right, I'll, I'll just have. I'll have Claude move up a stairs and take out the mage. It was a good try. It's your call. Let's see. Yeah. May my foes someday forgive me. At the very least, I want to take out the archer. No hesitation. There we go. Should I have held back? Someone's fired up. Thinking I might want to leave one of these guys alive. I think that is what I'll do. Did not realize Baltus is getting doubled by all these guys. Ooh, there you go, Grappling King. Well Fury. Not bad, feels good. Yeah, things are starting to look up for us a bit. Getting through this fucking mess. Actually, no, you wouldn't have killed Lenhart in one hit. Eh, I mean, if the, if the Armor Knight wasn't going to kill Lenhart in one hit, the Paladin's not going to kill him in one hit. And you see Lin even dodged it for me. Oh shit, I didn't realize he was doubling Edelgard. Yeah, let's just leave the hero alive, I guess. Good shit, Ash. I won that? Alright, uh, what's your movement? Five? I want to move everyone away from the hero. Actually, I didn't need to move everyone away from the hero. I just moved everyone like one space away and then trapped him in like this.
There we go. It's a matter of getting my healers back over to those two. <laughs> Sorry. Ready and willing. And Claw is the only one. So I want Ash to get that chest. Thank you. I could also use Ale Frick. Well, that's if I run out of time. Oh, right, I need someone over here that's actually going to be able to kill Matodi. Well, that's Dimitri's job. Right, I'm not going to attack. I'll just uh, wait and have him attack me. <laughs> Can it be Princess Edelgard? Huh. How dare you disrespect House Thresbell? This ends here. Not the kind of impact I was expecting, really. Ah, oh, well. Alright, uh, Dimitri fucked this guy up really bad. Oh, Alright, she needs your gambit. Yeah, that'll do it. There you go. Everything but speed and HP. Just a few more moves, then all will know that I am the Empire's. Forget I said anything. Then again, if you die, it won't matter either way. So Matodi's here for his own reasons. Not because someone ordered him to. He's just trying to prove himself to the Empire. I'm getting stronger. I don't mind pain, but it's time to make my exit. My employer pays me more than this treasure is worth. Why bother with the treasure anyway? All right, what do we got? Ooh, that's very good. That is immediately going on uh, Byla. Constantly weaken him. Now I can decide who wants the kill. Seven thirty-eight, three thirty-seven. I'll let Happy take it. Why not? Ugh, all right, there we go. Nighty night. Well, that wasn't too bad. You okay, Elfric? I am. All thanks to you. The chalice. Is it unharmed? Yes, it's safe. Chatterboxes. Oh, great. What? Oh, is Elfric one of those who slither in the dark? Because those are dark bishops. Nighty night! Oh, you're attacking me. He and Yuri have this planned. Yuri! 
damn scoundrel! What are you doing? <laughs> I think you can see what I'm doing, Balthus. Beautifully executed, Yuri. The chalice is finally mine now. Along with the blood of the four apostles. It seems I was correct. That there was an enemy in our midst. To think our bird was instead a rat. You've always had a wild imagination, Constance. <laughs> I've gotta say, turning your attention elsewhere was a challenge, even for me. That is enough with the banter, Yuri. I informed you not to divulge too much. They'll all be under the dirt soon enough. It's not like they'll be able to talk at that point. After all I've gone and done for you, Alfric, I would think you'd have just a bit more faith in me. Your silence speaks volumes. <sighs> Guess this is the end of the niceties. It's all on you now, friend. I'm sure you and the others will figure it out. Fan fucking tastic. Are you injured? I made it out unscathed. Impossible. Surely you suffered a wound. I didn't. Teach, there's no time for playing around. Tell us how... Ah, I get it. He only pretended to attack you, didn't he? So you were just playing a part in this grand performance. Oh, is that what we is all... That really is, that's why we met here? at the, uh... That's why we met at the Holy Mausoleum. We made a plan. The Chalice and the Ashen Wolves are gone. I am loath to think what will become of them without our help. And how do you propose we pursue them? We haven't a clue where they went. Well, we know what they're after. That at least narrows down the possibilities. Professor, are we too late? Hey, Rhea. It seems so. Lady Rhea, why have you come? After sending all of you off, I began to investigate the lineage of the Ashen Wolves. In doing so, I was able to confirm that the documented information about their crests was falsified. What was once a wild speculation, I now know to be true. The crests they bear are the same as those of the Four Apostles. The very same who long ago enacted the Rite of Rising. Once the blood of the Four is poured upon the Chalice, its power can be harnessed. I believe we have enough evidence to assume that our Ashen Wolves will suffice to carry out this ritual. So, Elfric's aim must be to carry out the Rite of Rising at the expense of the students. Lady Rhea, what precisely is the purpose of this ritual? It's to resurrect the goddess, isn't it? We've heard it has the power to resurrect life. But that can't be true, can it? The chalice is a holy artifact, created by the goddess herself. It serves to restore a physical form that was previously lost to this world. So those wild tales are true. It really can bring someone back to life. Not exactly. It can breathe life into a body. But it cannot return a spirit that has already departed. So it what, just makes a zombie or something? Ultimately, it is a tool to return the goddess to her physical form. Her spirit is omnipresent, but her flesh is no more. Such incredible power is truly awe-inspiring and extremely dangerous. In that way, it is akin to the hero's relics. For this reason, the four apostles were never intended to pass down their crests. This gathering should never have been possible. The Ashen Wolves are now gathered together, making it possible once more. And Elfric is at the center of this mess, luring them all to Abyss for his own selfish reasons. Without so much as a whisper of it to the church, of course. This incident is my own doing. I never should have entrusted the chalice to them. Lady Rhea, do you have any idea where they could have gone? I do, indeed. Garrick Mach, which is protected by the goddess, is the only place the Rite of Rising can be performed. So perhaps they're back in Abyss? Holding such a ritual requires absolute focus. So I imagine the setting would need to be serene, peaceful. There are countless such places within the monastery walls. Oh, the Holy Mausoleum. It's certainly peaceful there, but due to last month's incident, it's heavily guarded at present. For now, let us return to the monastery. Maybe not. There is much to consider. <sighs> Lady Rhea! 
What's going on, Aloise? You look troubled, Aloise. What has happened? Thieves have breached Garrick Mark's village walls. They've been pillaging the shops and residences, taking whatever they please. Oh, great. I wonder if this has anything to do with Elfric. Yeah, it's probably Elfric making a distraction. There's no telling. But for now, their numbers are too great. They need the knights. By your will, Lady Rhea, allow us to clear the village of these hooligans. Yes, Aloise. Please ensure the safety of the villagers immediately. However, leave a few of your best knights here with me. Yes, Your Grace. I'll see to it. Teach? You look like you've got something to say. I do. It's about Yuri. He told you to meet up with him at the Holy Mausoleum? You never run out of secrets, do you, Teach? I'm certain that Yuri had his reasons for setting up this meeting. He took the time to speak with you, however cryptically, before he left. Fair point, Dimitri. I do wonder why he told you it needed to be after midnight. Wouldn't it be better to rush to their aid immediately? Yuri's no fool. There's a method to his madness. Oh, so the meeting didn't happen yet, of course. So that's what we're doing afterwards. We're going to meet Yuri after midnight. Let's keep sitting over this one. I wonder what the hell it is he and Elfric are after. All right, chapter six. Cindered shadows, return to me. Where the heck are we? Hey, I was right at the Holy Mausoleum. Finally, you're all awake. Good morning, sleepyheads. Or is it a good evening? Yuri! You scoundrel! You are unfit to speak to us, liar that you are! Yeah, yeah, liar, blah, blah. Nothing I haven't heard before. Look, pal, enough beating around the bush. What exactly are you trying to accomplish here? Where's Elfric? And what the hell are you plotting? Questions, questions. You're wearing me out, Balthus. Fine, then. I'll lay it out for you. Elfric intends to reenact the Rite of Rising. He's preparing everything as we speak. What is this silly rite, anyway? You trying to do some crazy magic to raise the dead or something? Actually, yes. By offering up the blood of the four apostles in the chalice, you can bring someone back to life. Saint Saros performed the ritual 995 years ago. But not enough blood was given up. Let me guess. You have to entirely drain someone of their blood? So, the ritual was a bust. No clue what happened after that. That's what Alfred concluded after scouring the records, anyway. And now, through extreme persistence, he's found and gathered the four of us with our crests. He placed us under his direct supervision within the Ashen Wolf House, and he did all of it to ensure a successful ritual. The Rite of Rising. You mean to say that he intends to drain our blood? To kill us? Such an act would be unforgivable! An atrocity! I cannot die in this wretched hovel! Yeah, that sounds painful. And permanent. <laughs> Count me out. Hang on. The number four includes you too, right? So you're gonna die too? Yep. That's the idea. And here I thought we were close. But all this time you've been skulking around deceiving us. It hurts, boss. It hurts bad. You want to die, that it? Fine. I'll kill you myself. Just stop that crafty nonsense of yours and face me, fist to fist. Shot it. I've lived through hell and worse. After climb my way here, you really think I want to die? Then why throw your life away for the likes of Elfric? Some things are more important than my own life. Some things are worth protecting. You're not making any damn sense! It would seem that you want to be punished severely, Yuri. That's some sort of threat? There's not much you can do to me that hasn't already been done. True. You took wing from the mud into which you were born, and rose to such great heights. To break your spirit would take far too much effort. Though, if I must, I will kill your mother, in addition to your dear people. So that's why Yuri is going along with us. 
Elfric threatened to kill his old gang and his mother. Oh, so that's it. You were trying to protect your mom. Precisely. What is it you are hoping to accomplish, Elfric? To resurrect someone I lost long ago, no matter the cost. Surely there are those for whom you'd do similar. Perhaps. Even so, never would we annihilate those we care for. There's nothing I wouldn't do. Nobody I wouldn't trade to see the light in her eyes once more. I think I see where this is going, who he wants to resurrect. Yep. Whoa. That lady looks real dead, pal. She is. For now. That's her mom, isn't it? Jeez. Jesus, You're gonna regret dude. this, Elfric. I accepted the regret I might feel from this long ago. As long as she returns, nothing else matters. Yuri, if you think you'll be pulling anything funny, think again. The Knights of Seros won't save you. No doubt they're indisposed right now on some mission or other. Well, that's a damn shame. The whole evil villain look really doesn't suit someone as pious as you, Elfric. <laughs> Yuri Bird, I could... Not yet. It is time. Take them. Your blood will pour forth, filling the chalice. You really are a fool. You were diligent, Yuri. You kept me abreast of all the Ashen Wolves' movements. As recompense for being such a good student of my flock, I will gladly hear any final words from you. It's fresh. If you knew me at all, you'd know these won't be my final words. I'm simply biding my time. For what? For the goddess's descent? Can you hear it? She's coming. Bells? This late at night? Ah. Uh, I guess that's my doing, isn't it? Yeah. You hear that, Elfric? That's the sound of your demise. The knights are releasing my people as we speak. The ones you locked up and hid away. How did you know about that? Wait, the knights of Seros? <laughs> like I said, the evil villain look really doesn't suit you. I know it was you who sent me on that mission that ultimately led to me landing in the abyss. Of course. The mission to kill his former friends. It was Alfred. Overall, your execution was lacking. Lady Rhea has been on to you as well. Oh, and just so you know, I've been working for her since before I ever began. Man, the double double cross. Ooh, that's good. She had me keeping an eye on you. Told me to inform her if you seemed to be planning anything. You! But you took those I care most about hostage, which limited my options. You chained up the wolves kept a tight grip on my robes and abyss to ensure I wouldn't betray you. I struggled with whether or not to tell her everything. After all, my allies' lives were on the line. I deliberated on what to do next, knowing I'd have to rely on my own cunning to see this through. I waited for the chance I could rescue my mother and allies. All while paying lip service to you. Until today, the day you pulled all your forces in so you could attempt this ritual. You're no villain, with that sticky conscience you call a heart driven you up. Not like me. I see. You were one step ahead of me all this time. It matters not. The ritual has begun. There's no stopping it now. You will all die. Just a bit longer. Don't think for a moment. But you're getting off easy, pal! Seriously? Boss, did you have to tie us up so tightly? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Balthus. I figured those little tears would be enough for you to break through the rope. Come on, Balthus. I expected you to break through that rope a lot faster. I may be the unbeatable king of grappling, but I'm also bleeding profusely. You didn't wonder why it was taking me so long? Think next time, yeah? <laughs> I haven't the slightest what you two are jabbering on about, but please untie our ropes as well. You're talking. Do it yourself. I dispelled the silence from you ages ago. Or hadn't you noticed? Oh, I see. <laughs>
Oh man. It's great that we're not tied up anymore and all that, but we're still being actively drained. I've invested everything to ensure my success today. My private funds, a veritable army. Surround them. Don't let them escape. The ritual will not be stopped. <sighs> Why won't it cease? We are freed, and yet our blood still drains from us? Hmm. Well, this wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. This is no laughing matter. Our very lives are ebbing away. Stop panicking, Constance. You know I'm never unprepared. Hey, you've always got a trick up your sleeve, don't you? I can hear your secret plan running our way. So I guess we're going right into a battle, huh? So I'll probably just end the episode off here, and then the next episode we'll do the battle and the, uh, the, explore the little exploration around the abyss. Or whatever happens after this. It seems like the side story is coming to a close. We've cornered Elfric, so really all that's left is taking care of him and stopping us. I mean, let's just take a look around before. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll just save this for the next episode. So, I will see you all in the next one for this battle for Chapter 6. See you guys then. Bye!